Hello, welcome back to another Moffy guide with me, your moth. Oh, I fell. <laughs> Alright, um, so we're doing hydroponics. I'll probably end up breaking this into two episodes because I tried to do this like six times now. And something always goes wrong. So, uh, welcome to hydroponics. This place is very fun. We will fill our watering can up. We will change it to 100 units to make it quicker. You're going to start with a lot of these. We probably, these are where we grow our plants. We're not going to use too many of them. Also, these are spaced out, so I don't think they cross pollinate, which is odd. Uh, to start with, you want to come out to your locker. Actually, put your ID, do the ID thing. Standard. Suit sensors, in case someone mercs us, and they might be able to find our body. When you, you can get a belt eventually, but not from, we'll go into that in a little bit, but for now, just dump all the tools in your backpack. What do we get here? Weed killer grenade. Uh, weeds can get out of control, but I think you'd have to like make them out of control to do that. Oh, we got a spade in this one. Okay, if you don't get some of this stuff, plant be gone, wire cuts. You can set up piping, but that's more like complicated. I've actually never done it. On another server, you can just connect them really easy, but on this, it's quite, you need like piping and a whole bunch of stuff. The time you get, it's not worth it just to set up some piping. <laughs> so, uh, all right, you got your tools from your locker. You will, if you don't spawn with them, there will be a locker somewhere where you can probably, let's take the lot. I took the light bulb out. I didn't even know you could do that. There will be like a vendor somewhere where you can get your tools. There may also be... I was trying to see if I could see it somewhere. A thing you can swap your backpack for that just holds a lot of water. Now I'm assuming all this starter stuff here just will have stats, but we won't get into that for a little bit. So to begin with, you kind of work for the chef. Um, oh, can I just come in here? Oh, okay, we don't have a chef. This will make this guy easy. So the chef will normally ask for wheat and a bunch of other things. So this is your seed vendor, where you'll get all your seeds. So we'll do wheat, tomato, uh, I'll just put that in my pocket, and potatoes. Okay, we'll plant these all here. I will say also to start with, you kind of want to run the cargo and order a beak weight. We might do that quickly now, we'll see. Attention. Enemy communication so you fill up your watering can, you got your watering can, why these grow, we'll, I'll go through some stuff. So every time before you harvest, you want to graph it, and you'll get a trait. So all, every plant will have traits, there's probably like a whole bunch of them. I recommend the wiki to look them all up. The main one you want to add is pineal growth to uh, these, which will make it so you get multiple harvests. So you notice when we harvest we, as soon as we harvest this, it's gone. Whereas tomatoes, you get to harvest it multiple rounds. Uh, what is there? This removes weeds, our little cultivator. Our spade digs up plants if something's died. And our hatchet chops stuff up, which will also go into. Another one you want to grow is, I forgot to do this last time. We're just going to grow two of these. So don't grow too many to start with. You can probably do like six, I think. Six will keep you pretty busy. So pretty much we play a mini game here. Lights will pop up. So green means this is ready to harvest. So the first thing you want to do is you want to... I want a plant bag actually. Uh, I will go through that in two seconds. I'm just trying to find a plant bag. I think you have to buy one normally. Oops, that's our seed vendor. Plant bag. Get our little plant bag. So this lets you pick up all of... The, uh, don't leave stuff on the ground because you get ants too. I always forget that. It'll let you pick up everything at once. So you want to bring, you want to get a couple of kind of backup seeds of everything. So we've now got backup wheat seeds, which we put in here and we can vendor. This is pretty much a seed vendor, but it also tells you the stats about the plant, which I'll go into in a second. So then you want to come over. Uh, oh, so he'll come here. So you want to dump all your stuff in this smart fridge which is where the chef will come and grab it out of if you need stuff so you notice now we got a yellow dot so that means they need nutrients 
Now, the very start, I recommend getting Robust Harvest. This just gives you more for your more bang for your buck. So that means these will just produce more, which is really nice. Uh, this one's ready now. Green is harvest. So we got some potatoes. Probably just grab two. Hopefully, should be enough. Pop some in here. If you ever do get really desperate, you might be able to order a seed crate from Cargo. Put those away. We'll grab our potatoes. Put them in here for Chef. Alright, um, I'll go through some of this. So that's what your tools are for. Your plant analyzer will tell you a whole bunch more about uh, your plant. Most of this you don't have to worry too much about. Potency is how strong it'll be, so if you grow like space drugs or something. And yield is like uh, how much it'll actually yield, so the more you get. They're the main two you want to get high. Be careful too, because some of these are reverse, so higher could be worse. It's not always better. You have to like, there's a whole thing about stats. You can look them all up. But uh, I don't really worry about stats too much. Pretty much you can make giant, if you're gonna make giant crops, then you worry about stats a bit more. But if you want to mutate and make weird, crazy stuff, grab two, yeah, two tomatoes. And we'll punk them in here. Yeah, if you want to mutate and grow weird, crazy, like you can grow killer tomatoes, don't do that. Um, or if you do, don't release them unless you're an antag, because they do attack people. <laughs> Grab these. We'll put these in here. Okay, so now he's got some wheat, some potatoes. Oh, I had some seeds. Whoops. I put some seeds in there by accident. What do we got in here? Tomato. Alright, we got seeds in here anyway. That's fine. These ones, I also, we want to get robust harvest. Alright, so this one has come up with this. So this will mean pest, toxicity, or weeds. Now, 90% of the time it's weeds. We're just going to scan it. It says here it's weeds. You got, like, the little list here. So this is kind of how your plant is doing. Weed, pest level, toxicity, water, and nutrients. Uh, so to get rid of weeds, you get out this one. You rake it. Yeah, oh has stopped crying, so we're good. So this is, oh, this is your basic for growing cops. I forgot one thing though, and I'm not used to this, so I always forget it. Every time you harvest, you want to click it with this thing first to get a trait. So do what I say, not what I do. Sorry, I always forget to do it when I harvest. I don't know why. I'm not used to it. I played on like a different, it's like a little, hydroponics is a little different. Uh, so what's in here? Plant bags, put your stuff in. Syringe is for when, if we get unstable mutagen in this one. Left for Z will start to mutate your crops. Easy nutrient is just your basic nutrient with no mutating factors, and robust harvest means you'll get more. You can hack these machines, which I'll do in a future episode, hacking. Which will just give you more seeds and more, like, range of stuff. You can grow... So a lot of these are just normal stuff by the chef. This one, the one we've put in, you'll see in a second. You can grow, this isn't, you can grow weed, but this is like a type of space drugs, I guess you could say. Okay, since we got a lot of stuff, what we really want to do now is we want to mutate. You know, we've kept Chef happy, we've grown out. If you get pests, by the way, pest sprays in here. So we want to instead now start using Left for Z. A good way as well is if you can shift click these, and it will tell you there's a left and a right click. So right click now has emptied out all the nutrients in it. So it's completely empty. So you quickly want to give it nutrients. And we've given it left for Z to start to mutate it. So now what we want to do is before we pick these up with the bag is we want to check them now. I hear people wielding. Hopefully someone's not breaking in to kill me. Oh my god, it's like a repeat. Because I've had to do this so many times and it never works out. <laughs> Alright, so this is your wood. This is the first thing you want to grow for yourself. You want to make sure as well, as always, put your seeds in. Ah, oh, that only gave us one. I always like to have a couple of backup. And I once again didn't graft, so make sure you graft. So this, if we click all of this now, turns into wood. So this is the first time you use your hatchet. Well, I'll grow the other stuff 
a couple of things. I'll leave some stuff for you guys to like explore. But two other fun things is you can go cotton. You can probably do some fun stuff with cotton. Uh, what is it? We want. Um. No, I'm trying to think now. <laughs> I had a mind blank. There's so much to do. All right, uh, and I'm trying to like squish it in as quick as I can. So if you mutate eggplant, you can grow uh, eggs. So if the chef wants eggs, you can grow that. Same with wheat mutates into meat wheat. So if they ask you for that kind of stuff. This is what we want. We want a pumpkin. And we want a corn. Okay, let's put corn in here and a pumpkin in here. Alright, this most likely is weeds. You can always, you don't really have to use plant analyzer, you can just kind of grab it. And I will remember to graph this time. I will just check how much wood we have. Okay, sweet, we got a lot. So there's two things you want to, you can make like a tiki mask. You can go through this, I'll let you guys play with it. But two main ones you want to make is a wooden barrel. Which I think we can push. So that'll let you ferment stuff. And the other one is, where is it? We need a drying rack. Drying rack, attention. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff you can make with that. I'll let you guys play with it. So for now, I'm going to try and mutate. So we're always going to be using left for Z as our nutrient. This one needs water, so you grab your little watering can. Oh, we do get beakers in this one, that's interesting. Oh, I will go through the other thing, all right. So let's say you grow a bunch of stuff and it's not specifically for the chef, like this weed stuff here, and you only need a couple of it. You wanna go and dump all your excess in here, your bio generator. Which, if I grab a beaker, it does. This is why you get a beaker. If you don't get one, grab one of these that's empty and just whack it in because that'll work too. Oh, I forgot to graft. Oh, all right, here we can graft this one. All right, so always do this get out this little clipper and graft before you harvest. Now we'll put these in our bio generator. That won't give us a lot. I'll come back to that. Let me, let me harvest this one. Hopefully, uh, some of these get bolted to the floor. Also, if you be careful if you try and bolt them, because there might be certain ways to do it. They only gave us one seed that's very annoying. I should have got the plant bag as well. Uh, what was this? This is corn and pumpkins. You know what? I want to robust harvest these as well. We can use one bottle. It doesn't matter too much. Oh, no, it's empty. Ah. Okay, let's grab this. This is grafting, you'll get a little thing here. If you click this, it'll tell you what it is. So this is pineal growth. So this means something that only grows once and then vanishes if we attach this. You just literally left click it on. It'll now have that trait. I'm assuming too if you get then you get seeds from it again and you go over here, the seeds will have pineal growth, but I'm not 100%. So this is space weed. You can eat it. Well, there's like a whole bunch of different kinds. This technically weed. This one makes you trip out and see colors. You can also put it in a drying rack. I always forget this, but make sure you, you gotta turn it on. And then I'll spurt out a dried one. And then, hold on, let me just water this plant. Yeah, we're very high now. You get high a lot in hydroponics. <laughs> it's a very fun job if you're left alone for a while and have like a lot of fun. It's also one you can do like a whole bunch of times and still come back. I guess this is the fifth time I've probably done this because I thought I knew it and then there was a whole bunch of stuff I learned from the old way. Uh, oh yeah, so red means your plant's dying. There's nothing much you can do about that. You know, circle of life. But if you activate now with a beaker in here, we got 250 biomass. So this will keep a uh, chef happy because he can get monkey cubes from here. He can just straight up make flour and a bunch of stuff. You can also make a really fun rice hat. Well, I recommend the botanical belt is one of the first ones you should make. 
I made rolling paper, but it doesn't come with the rolling paper inside of it, so don't do that, don't get tricked. So pumpkin is another fun one you can hit your knife with. Now let's put that away. Uh, pumpkin's whinging about weed. There we go, weed's gone. And you can make a little pumpkin, which on your head, you can attach it. Or you can put it on the floor, and you can also turn it into a jacket lantern. Put that in the biomass. Let's see. Oh, here we go. We got our first mutation. So uh, always check as well. I'm not used to that either. But you see how this is the normal plant we put in? This is now a mutation. I think I picked that up in the plant bag. Yeah, this one. It's blue. So this is our first mutation. We whack it in here to get some more seeds. And then we can instead grow it now in its place. So yeah, I recommend the wiki, because like every plant probably almost can like mutate into stuff. I will show you the shovel. So we're gonna shovel this out. We're gonna put this in. And then we're gonna put in some. And I will explain, so be careful, don't do this at the start. If you left click, this will now auto give it water and auto give it nutrients. But it drains the power extremely bad. I shouldn't leave those weed ones on the floor either. Also, I'm not grafting, I know. I'm bad. Uh, left is dead. Okay, this one's died, so for the moment we'll shovel it up. Okay, let's graft this one, so hopefully we get another tree. Put that down. We'll scan it with our little plant analyzer. That one has pineal growth, so that one will do the same thing. We can, so for corn, if you grab a piece of corn, you click it, put it on the ground so it's like a corner of the cob, click it with your little hatchet, you made a little cob pipe. Which, if you grab this, you can put in, I'm guessing your little pipe? Okay, and then you just need a lighter to light it. Uh, this needs left for said. Okay, what time? Wait, right, we're not looking at too bad a time. It's pretty easy, this. So the other thing you can do is you can put stuff in your barrel and ferment it. And then if you get a glass from the kitchen or whatnot, you can... You know, we're going to ferment this pumpkin. This probably has good stats or something, good yield or something like that. <laughs> it's okay. Grab all these. So you can end up growing giant big crops if you go into all the stats. Uh, make sure you shut your lid too, so you got to shut the lid of it. And then stuff's randomly going to grow in your hydroponics tray. You can just let it happen. Oh, also a really fun one. I'll show you one more quickly. Is grass. I'll put some grass in there. And then we'll turn on the auto thing and then I'm just gonna get the weeds just in case so I will go see if our the crate is in uh, we still got time I, I got time this has been a really good episode oh actually we'll try and get mutagen too while we're here <laughs> Someone did that to me last time I was here. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't do that. Don't ever do that. I just like, someone did it last time when they had to wait for me. Oh yeah, bloody Grammarly popping up for this game. It's so funny. So he's not dead, don't worry. He just went to... The, he'll pop out in cargo. <laughs> yeah, someone did it to me like a couple of rounds ago. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was reading like a wiki, trying to like do the guide. Stuff bad, something bad always happens. We'll probably get arrested by security now. But yeah, don't, don't normally do that. You get a botanist to botany.
Okay, we got... Oh, my tiki didn't work. Alright, let's run away quickly. What is this? Multi-seed server restock unit. Make sure T works. Oh, sweet. He gave us a whole bunch of seeds. I actually know what this thing does. It's a vending machine restock cart. Okay, cool. Oh, I gotta put it in. Alright, we gotta like unscrew that. We'll save that for another episode. He did give us proper cannabis though. <laughs> we'll take some of that. We'll grow that in a second. There we go. Look, we grow blue ones now of these. Hey, this shouldn't be inching about. Um, this time we're going to graft. Scan with our little plant analyzer. It's got pineal growth. Oh, you got to watch out when your production hits zero. Sometimes you won't get stuff. But, oh, yeah, see, look, there we go. We've got bigger pumpkins. Also, there is, yeah, cross-pollination, but I think these are too spread out. And be careful of the weeds and stuff that grow in there. Some of them are useful, but uh, some of them can be very toxic. You can make bad stuff, just don't give it to anyone. Or just, like, try it on yourself. So for unstable mutagen, this will increase the rate at which you can get mutations. You grab a syringe. You, you can fill the syringe, but only put it in once. So for pumpkin, we're just going to insert it once into the pumpkin. Uh, we have the auto grow on, so that's not going to mutate. So we'll, we'll grab that. We'll grab this one, put that there, put this here. To dry and rack, you dry stuff. All right, so we need, I'll try and grab a glass quickly and then we'll see bee crate. And then you guys kind of got the gist of uh, there's no bartender. You know what? I bet you we can put it in a beaker. You can probably go like trippy wine too. Oh, here we go. We even got grass dump. How cool is that? Uh, not the seed. So this is grass. If you click on it, it will turn it into a tile, which you can then go around and replace all the tiles with. You can also make wooden ones too. You need a crowbar. I think actually you can just left click on the server. Or is it right click? Can I? Ow. Alright, whoops, I hit myself. Alright, you need a crowbar. <laughs> but you can lay grass everywhere, which is kind of fun as well. Alright, let's check if we grab Bika. Run down. Oh yeah, there you go. From the wooden barrel. Uh, I was trying to see. Sometimes you get like a little condiment. Oh, there we go. We do have a condiment machine. This might actually tell us what this is. It's got vitamin, nutrient, and pumpkin wine in it. Okay, so it'll make us a little less hungry. So there we go. We just brewed some uh, alcohol. I'm pretty sure you can make different kinds. I think if we stick in all of our weedy stuff. Also, don't do what I'm doing and keep it on the ground. Because uh, very quickly we're going to get ants. Oh, I can't dump it in. Alright, let me stick. Then I think I gotta open the barrel to start the process, maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. And close the barrel. Oh, we got some more pumpkins. Yeah, once you start growing big stuff and you start dumping it in here, you'll get biomass real quick. Okay, there we go, see? Yeah, we don't have a chef, so normally you gotta like do whatever the chef says on the side, but since we don't have one, this is just a nice quick, we can just dump everything in here. We make ourselves a belt. Alright, so that is making your own wine, that's drain rack. I will quickly see if we can do, oh, oh my god, oh. I will quickly see if we can do bees. Right. This guy's got essential weed adaptation, okay, see, so this is a different one. So this is when you check your wiki, and let's see what essential weed adaptation is. 
The plant acquires weed-like properties, removing the need for nutrients. Plant growth doesn't get slowed down by weeds. Oh my god, okay. So you could probably make like a super plant, sort of. Uh, let's give it that. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. There is a weed you can get called kudos, which I think if you plant will just spread everywhere. So be careful of that too. <laughs> Uh, oh, I got a rolling paper, so I can show you quickly. I'll grab that. Grab that. So the best way... Oh. They don't have rolling papers on this server. Maybe they want you making joints. Maybe joints were banned. No joints on this server. I take it back. You can just eat it, though. I'll put it in your cob pipe. It's already packed. Okay. It doesn't seem to trip you out, you just gotta eat it straight. There we go. Alright, let's try and mutate something fun. These are fun. These little things over here. I forgot what this stuff was, so let's just attach it anyway. So I know we didn't grow this, we'll finish it here and I'll have to do bees in another... I'll do bees in like a separate little episode. Uh, we'll attach whatever this is to. I'm not sure how many you can attach to this. Because well, we want this to grow. This is what we want to mutate now. Alright, we'll get some Lephazed. Lephazed, whatever it's called. Yeah, Lephazed. Pour a bunch of that in there. We'll have some of our wine we fermented. Uh, let's see if we... Let's try if you can hear my dog snoring. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of this. If this, because we put the weed in it, will this have different properties? Oh yeah, look, we got space drugs, we got... So, this is another thing. They kind of, there was a machine, but it's no longer in here, but all your plants are filled with stuff. Oh, we made some wine. Let's just take a sip. Who knows what all this stuff is? But uh, you can put it in here to kind of figure out what they are. It's more of like a, uh, you want to wait till you're in the chemistry, and then you can come back here. And you can kind of be like a little mini chemist, sort of. You can like grow plants and get stuff out of them. For the moment, what we want to do is we want to mutate. Mutating is really fun. Oh, right, did you see I like turned human for a second there? Because I'm tripping out. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, so you got fermenting, drying rack. We can make a tiki mask, but uh, we got this stuff on. We should see if we can make our belt. Finally. And then I'll... Woo. We've probably got some more mutations. I just have never paid it. I haven't been paying attention. But I'll show you one fun mutation. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this left for Z. Oh, I didn't graft it. I didn't graft. And then we're just going to grow a bunch of this. And I'll come back when we finally get one. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we're back. It didn't take too long. Normally, for you kind of want to pick a couple of plants. You want to... Uh, let me... Grab all that. Put everything in there. Oh, no, wait. I emptied it. Whoops. Alright, hopefully I put them all in there. Alright, bam. We'll grab one of these. So this is... We mutate it. So all you do is just put left for Z. Or if you've got a chemist, you can put unstable mutagen. Put that in there. Yeah, and you can add some fun treats to stuff too. Add some more pump helmets or they're just growing on their own. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of, you'll see on the wiki, there's like a giant list. You can make killer tomatoes, blue tomatoes. It's like holy stuff that'll fight off some of the like antagonists. <laughs> what is the mime? Oh god, we got the mime. Uh, hello. Just make sure you graft. I always forget. Every time. Hello. Uh, bananas. Oh, he's got a little note. <laughs> 
What does he want? Can I use your grinder? Oh, yeah, sure. Alright, he's free to grind away. Alright, so we just gotta make sure these survive, and we'll finish with our walking mushrooms, which mutate from normal mush. Oh, I didn't cultivate. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Just do what I say, not what I do. Point to the grinder right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he's the mime. <laughs> Attention. Mime's like an advanced class because you can't talk. Imagine someone bullying you and try and act reenacting it out. Also, this is Space Sands because I've been lazy and I left all this stuff here. I'm just trying to speed through everything. I'm not being the greatest. Hydroponic assist botanist. Now let's give him these. I'm pretty sure there's a deadly bit. Cool, cool, make something out of them. Alright, here we go. Here's something fun you can grow. These are called walking mushrooms. So these are like killer tomatoes. But not as bad. There we go. We got a little mushroom buddy. Yeah! He just walks around. I think they fight. You hit Z to activate them. And then I don't think they like other mushroom buddies. There can only be one mushroom buddy. Oh yeah, look, he's on the chase. He's going. Oh god, it's gonna be a mushroom murder. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can grow all sorts of space drugs. You can grow, yeah, your holy melon thing. There's like pages of it. You can grow grow berries, which will like charge power. There's, they're all filled with stuff too. So you all got ingredients in there, which is probably safe for chemistry. So you can like come back after you've done chemistry. But uh, it's just fun mutating your crops, getting some really weird stuff. Uh, just be careful too, like, because uh, some of it can be poisonous. Oh, this rainbow flowers, that sounds cool. And if everything dies, just dig it up and start again. It doesn't matter too much. Sorry, I'm just looking through the list of all the stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can grow. Hydroponics is really fun. It's like a nice little job. You just like give the chef what he wants and then you just mutate whatever you want to mutate. And then you can save if what you really want to do <laughs> is for the very end of the round, right? So the round is over. If you're not at end tag, you can fill up a bunch of killer mushrooms or these things in your plant bag. And then you just activate them all on the ship at the end. It's very fun. But uh, okay, I will leave you here. I f oh, I got to do bees. I'll do bees in another little episode and I'll attach it on. All right, guys, this will probably end up being 40 minutes, but uh, that's all you need to know about hydroponics, hopefully. Just uh, do what I say, not what I do, because I got some bad old habits. Have a good day. I will hopefully see you in the next one. All right, we got bees, finally. <laughs> so um, you will want to wear your little beekeeper's outfit. It's going to spawn in it. You're also going to want stuff growing, so we don't have anything growing. So I'm put that. Right, we're gonna need nutrients. Run over here. We'll grab. Let's see if I can put some of these in my bag. So I'm building this in the corner because someone tried to murder me as well when I was getting bees. So we're on edge. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let me get all comfy. I'll put nutrients there. Um, let me grab Dig this one up Now hopefully this guy does not come back and murder us If he does then I have to do hydroponics again <laughs> I, I like doing it, it's fun, but at the same time I don't want to do it. I've done it enough I want to play a different role <laughs> uh, Sugar cane, sure let's grow that as well and we'll grab our harvest, put that in, that in. So you want to try and get your bees at your start. So normally you would do this as you're like going about. Also space ants are here. So if I walk on them, I'm going to get hurt. I know where I put my watering can. It's probably in my backpack. All right, so we'll water these, we'll water these, we'll water these. I'll try and make this quick. All right, so you're going to get some honeycomb. You're going to get a fly swatter. 
you're gonna get a B keep his hat and there should be a chest thing as well oh I think I've placed that there now so I think that's permanently there so be careful of that also you want to grab your queen bee I'm just gonna move this out of the way Plant this here so you put your honeycombs oh, when I can see inside put your bee inside now if you have stuff you can inject your bee actually let me double check oh yeah so if you get royal jelly you can inject your bee and you can get two queen bees so you can like make a lot of bees you can also make mead if you put it in your little fermenter over here you can make a honey nougat bar oh that sounds good and apparently honey heals you a little bit as well so uh, can I push this? I don't think I can push. Oh, I can push this back. Okay. So your fly swatter, I guess, is if they go out of control, they can probably mutate or something. Who knows? It's SS13.